doctor. I'll you are you. doing a great job of wasting my time. You should, my, if you're going to filibuster, you should run for the Senate. In the spirit of true transparency, I'm not sure if he called him a schmuck or a schmutt. And I'm really not even sure what a schmutt is, but I'm sure that it's a combination of some older insults that make up a brand new insult, which uh, sounds very appealing to me. Either way, guys, I'm not going to waste too much of your time. I'm going to play the rest of this clip and then play some other clips that I haven't previously showed on my channel before. You guys did tell me in the comments to keep these clips coming, so I've got them coming. Make sure you smash that like button and share these with everybody on every single platform. And, of course, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can join our growing ape family. If you get an order from Fidelity and you get an order from uh, Robin Hood and you're paying for the Robin Hood order flow, is that customer getting, is the Robinhood customer getting as good a price as the Fidelity customer? The execution quality that we can provide as measured in terms of price improvement is heavily related or correlated to the size of the order that we receive. So if I were to speculate... I, I didn't, don't, don't tell me that, it's a, that there are other factors involved and take us down another road. I'm asking you a clear question. Assuming same size of order. One comes in from Robin Hood, one comes in from Fidelity. So as, as I was trying to explain, because the Robin Hood order comes from a community, a community of traders who tend to trade in smaller size. That isn't my question, sir. You're evading my question by making up other questions. Let me repeat. Two identical orders come in. Same stock, same quantity. One's from Robin Hood, one's from Fidelity. What happens? The quality of the execution varies by the channel of the order. This is a commonly understood phenomena in economics that channels matter. So, for example, when you go get a mortgage, a mortgage from J.P. Morgan to their clientele has a different rate of interest than a mortgage. Okay, let me baby. reclaiming my time, sir. Who gets the better deal? Well, one that comes from a broker who is uh, paying, uh, being paid for order flow and one not. Can you testify that, they, that on balance, there is no difference, assuming the same size of the order? So, as I said earlier, size of the order is only one factor. Other you are doing a great job of wasting my time. You should, my, if you're going to filibuster, you should run for the Senate. Why did Robin Hood restrict the buying, but not the selling, of GameStop? And why do folks get locked out on the buy side only? Ranking member McHenry, uh, I appreciate the opportunity to address that. Uh, the reason that Robinhood, first of all, let me say Robinhood is always committed to providing access. It's in our name. It's in everything that we do. Uh, the decision to restrict GameStop and other securities was driven purely by deposit and collateral requirements imposed by our clearing houses. So uh buying uh but, but, buying but why, securities but why is, buying securities why, pieces are why? requirements selling does not moreover uh preventing customers from selling is a very difficult and painful experience where customers are unable to access their money so we don't want to impose that type of experience on our customers unless we have no other choice and even though I recognize customers were very upset and disappointed that we had to do this, I imagine it would have been significantly worse if we prevented customers from selling. Uh, let's be crystal clear. That decision you made to restrict the buying but not the selling of GameStop was based – What was it based on pressure from anyone on the witness panel here today? Not at all. Zero pressure from anyone. It was – a collateral depository requirement decision made by our Robinhood Securities president. Do you believe your lack of candor with your customers might have contributed to the wild speculation and confusion that resulted in the aftermath of your trading restrictions? Look, I'm sorry for what happened. Um, I apologize. And I'm not going to say that Robinhood did everything perfect and that we haven't made mistakes in the past. But what, what I commit to is making sure that we improve from this, we learn from it, and we don't make the same mistakes in the future. 
And Mr. Plotkin, you made the comment in your testimony a minute ago that you were not trying to manipulate stock. Yet, if you're if you're short selling a stock 140 percent, um, for me on the outside looking in, it looks like that's exactly what you're doing. Explain to me why that's not manipulating a stock. Thank you, uh, Congressman. Uh, you know, for us, um, I can't speak to other people that were shorted. Anytime we short a stock, we we locate a borrow. Uh, our systems actually force us to find a borrower. So we always, you know, short stocks within the context of all the rules. So I believe that the short interest in GameStop was was exceptional. And I I'm not sure it's worth us delving into legislative corrections for a, a very unique situation in terms of the extreme size of the short interest. I will say that all of the large markets, in fact, every bank Every hedge fund does have to comply with the requirement to borrow shares to short shares in the course of their day in and day out business. The practice of naked shorting was was largely curtailed by SEC mandate years ago. While I have you here, I wanted to quickly tell you about the brand new First Trade app available for mobile or PC. The platform will give you access to powerful and easy to use tools and allows you to trade with less restrictions, zero commissions, zero fees, and you can use the first link in the description below to download a free stock today without having to deposit any money. This will greatly help out the channel and is always appreciated. And now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Congrats, ladies and gentlemen, you've made it to the end of the video. If you like what you watched, make sure you subscribe because I put out videos just like this one every single day. And please do me a favor and smash that like button if I helped you in any way because it really goes a long way in helping the channel out and keeps me motivated to make videos every single day. Now, there's a lot of work involved, a lot of research, and a lot of time and effort into editing and putting these out daily for you guys. You can subscribe from your screen right now. Or if you want to watch one of my other videos, I'm sure YouTube has some good content picked out for you on the left-hand side of your screen now. Thanks for sticking it out with me till the end, and I will see you guys in the next video.